If you're on the hunt for dino bones, this is the spot. That's what brought these bone hunters to the area, part of a paleontology field school. They stumbled upon the find of a lifetime. So you come around this corner and what do you see? Well, we see some bones just kind of sticking out of the cliff. And then I turned to Brian and I'm like, what do you think this is? And it turns out that it was something really cool. Now those bones from a young hadrosaur, so common in these parts, they were known as the cattle of the Cretaceous period. And what makes this find so cool? Millions of years after this dino died, skin still clings to its bones. So what do we have here? Uh, this is a sample of uh, fossilized skin of a hadrosaur or duck-billed dinosaur. Okay, so dinosaur skin, why do we care about that? We care about it because normally when we find dinosaurs, we just have the skeleton. We don't have, uh, the, we only have the bones, we don't have the skin, we don't have the details of the anatomy. So having the skin really fleshes out the animal literally. And we can learn a lot more about the anatomy. After the find, the heavy work begins. These fossils are just one of hundreds of major discoveries made in the area. A bone boom of sorts helping the world learn more about dinosaurs. Fossils in Alberta are considered uh, historical artifacts. Um, they can't be publicly owned. They're owned by the province and they're available for scientific research. As work is underway to unearth one dinosaur, another find just meters away. You found another one. What does that say about this area when it comes to the number of bones here? So this is this is crazy. We're having our interview and uh, we see part of a hadrosaur skull here. It's a post-orbital bone. Um, if I was to find this in uh, Scotland or England, uh, it would go straight to the museum. But not here. These bone hunters are after a bigger prize, one that will take time to bag. It takes years to get a skeleton out of the ground and into a museum. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Dinosaur Provincial Park, Alberta.